Hey there, Connie Fuchsa here with Foot Title Group. How's everybody doing this cold, chilly uh, East Coast morning? I just wanted to, uh, first let me say, happy almost Christmas to everybody. I know uh, this time of year can be really wacky, and as you can see, I'm in the car again. I'm not moving, I promise. I'm pulled over on the side. Hopefully, nobody walks up beside me like they did last week. Um, but, you know, with every, with everybody else, I'm running around and, and trying to take care of a lot of different things. So, I wanted to make sure that we got in touch and uh, we talked about some things that come up that I know that you might be concerned about and might be some information that could help you. Hey, Sherry East, how are you today? So, first of all, let me say, if you are uh, watching us, um, <laughs> this has been funny. A lot of people have said this to me. If you're watching and you check in, uh, I can't see you, only you can see me. So a lot of people say to me, well, I'm watching you live and when you say my name, I'm always a little caught off guard because uh, I'm wondering, can she see me? I can't see you. All I can see is that your name pops up and lets me know that you're online with us. So please check in. Don't be afraid to um, say, hey, let me know that you're on because what it does for me is help me make sure that I'm passing out information to you that's going to be helpful, that will help you going forward maybe help you if you're going to be buying a house, if you own a piece of property or a home and that uh, you have something that you need to take care of, or if you are you know somebody that might be buying, you can share some information. So there's lots of good things that hopefully come out of our conversations, but if you check in, it helps me know who's online with me and also uh, what kind of information I should be sharing. So uh, please do check in and let me know you're on. Hey there, Heather. How are you, girl? Uh, my heart is still very close to you and thinking about you a lot. Hey there, Karen Renner. Thanks for checking in. Good morning, Allison. Oh my gosh. It is cold as crap here, and I really feel for you guys how it must feel out there in Chicago. Hey, Phil. How are you this morning? Thanks for always being on. So, um, thanks so much for your time. Again, I know how important it is, but particularly this time of the year because everybody's trying to get everything taken care of. And I just really wanted to give you a little bit of a message uh, that ex I recently experienced and I wanted to share with you guys. So, in certain areas, uh, real estate taxes, property taxes uh, are due at, well, let me say this. First, property taxes are due at all different times. It depends on your jurisdiction as to when they actually come due. Um, we are licensed to do closings in Maryland and Virginia, so I can speak best about that. But I bring this up because this is something that's kind of wacky that could cause you a problem this time of the year. In Maryland and Virginia, right about now, uh, well, in December, um, Maryland property taxes. If you chose to pay your property taxes two times a year, good morning, Kim. How are you? I hope you're feeling well. I hope things are starting to get better for you. Pam, good morning. Good to always see you on Tuesday and Thursdays. So um, in Maryland, your property taxes are due. They come due on July 1st and you have until September 30th to pay them um, to, uh, if you choose to make just the annual payment, make it uh, once a year, you pay them in uh, either somewhere between July 1st and September 30th without having to pay a penalty. If you choose to make your payment for your property taxes on a semi-annual basis, then your property taxes, you pay half of it then between July and September, and then you pay the other half between December 1st and January 1st. In Virginia, your property taxes are similar, but the second half you um, will come due in January. So you don't have as much of a concern at this moment. But the reason I'm bringing this up to you is because, uh, in, like I said, every jurisdiction, the property taxes come due at a different time, and some allow you to pay them semi-annually, and some allow you uh, only allow you to pay them annually. If your property taxes are getting ready to come due this time of the year, what I'm, I'm the reason that this spurred this conversation with me this morning is because I ran across something kind of crazy. I purposely have a reminder in my um, notes to remind me that this time of the year our property taxes are due. Why? Because a couple of years ago, I never got a tax bill, got really caught up in the holidays, totally forgot about it, and then got a late penalty fee, which can be pretty hefty after the first of the year. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. How are you this morning, Alan? Yeah, I'm cold because, uh, it, you know, I'm wearing my heavy jacket because it is hmm, 26 degrees here in Maryland and it's a little chilly. So yeah, my heavy leather jacket on today. 
Um, so property taxes. So first of all, in certain jurisdictions, make sure you know and you don't rely on the jurisdiction to send you that property tax bill because it's not in the um, information that's filed, it is not their responsibility to make sure your taxes are paid and to make sure you get a bill. So just because you don't get a bill doesn't mean you don't have to pay it or doesn't mean that they waive the late fee. They put the total responsibility on you and if they send you a bill, great, but if they don't, it's your responsibility to make sure you're paying. Now let's talk about, for a minute, why that matters. Well, let me go backwards. So this year, again, I didn't get my property tax bill in December 1st when I should have. Luckily, my reminder went off recently and you know, I just like everybody else have all kinds of things going on. Some of you know me, I have a lot of family coming in and out right now. We have a lot of the end of the year work uh, things that we're trying to get done and we all have um, a lot of activities going on. So I mean, my brain is certainly not focused on property taxes, but thank goodness that I did a reminder a couple years ago because I had this problem. Well, thanks Bob, thanks for tuning in and thanks for your support, I appreciate it. Well, thank goodness I have the reminder because if I don't pay that property tax bill by January 1st, then I've got a huge penalty and they're just going to send me a reminder at that point, I guarantee you, to say, hey, sorry you didn't pay your tax bill, now you got to pay this big penalty. And that is totally my responsibility. Now let's talk about, in your case, why I really would worry about that and not as much the penalty, which is huge, which is a concern, but here's the bigger picture. What most of you don't know is property taxes are what they call a first lien on your property. So what does that mean? That means that no one else has a more important interest in your property than your property taxes and the treasurer of your local jur jurisdiction that collects them. Why is that? Well, they have the ability to um, make sure that they get paid first before anyone else, before your mortgage gets repaid, before um, any other homeowners association, any home equity line, anything you owe, nothing is more important than your property taxes and they have that filed against your property so they come first. And at the end of the day, what that means is the local jurisdiction, your county who collects your property taxes uh, or your town that collects your property taxes, wherever that jurisdiction is that manages your property taxes, if you don't pay that property tax bill, they can sell your home at tax sale for what your tax bill is. Now, there's a lot of things throughout the law that allow you to um, redeem that and, and take care of those bills and those types of things. But at the end of the day, who wants to have to go through all of that? And you're guaranteeing, if you've borrowed money from a mortgage lender, you're guaranteeing to them that that bill will be paid. Now, let me qualify this by saying, good morning, Kathy. How are you this morning? Let me qualify this by saying, if you have a mortgage that the lender requires that you pay them in addition to the payment that you owe, that you pay escrows, which is the um, savings account they collect for property taxes and insurance, then they'll pay your taxes and you shouldn't have this problem. What I would recommend is that you follow up and make sure, put a reminder in your information to make sure that those things are paid as you go through the ownership that you have. So if your property tax bills are paid once a year, make sure you know when those bills are paid and that you have a reminder to go check up on it. Even though the lender's paying it, make sure that's taken care of. If you are responsible for paying your property taxes yourself, make Make sure you have some kind of reminder system to make sure that bill is paid because they don't have a responsibility to remind you or send you a bill and if you don't pay them they can take your house there is nothing that can protect you more than you being diligent about making sure those are paid now that I'm scared you scared you have to death the lenders are very proactive. Your mortgage lender is very proactive about making sure this is taken care of. They have a lot of fail safes as well. So if you pay your property taxes through your mortgage payment, it is more than likely not gonna ever be a problem for you. Who I really am trying to speak to is those of us who do not have our property taxes in our mortgage payment. That's a really big deal. The other thing is, you know, when we're talking about that, that can take your house, but the other item that the lender collects in escrow to make sure that those property taxes and insurance are paid is what I said, insurance. And the reason for that is because if you don't pay your insurance bill and your house burns down, you still owe your mortgage. And if you haven't paid your insurance, your insurance is not going to cover you and there is not going to be any protection for you to make sure that mortgage is paid. So the reason the lender collects those two things is because those are the two things that could affect their mortgage 
uh, not being able to be collected and so they want to make sure that doesn't happen but if you don't have escrows for your insurance and your taxes through your mortgage lender then you need to be ultra diligent about these things because those two things uh, just as it could affect the lender it can affect you and it could cause you not to have a home anymore to live in so a little bit of scary stuff I don't want to overwhelm you with uh, that kind of scary thing but you know kind of funny when it happens or when I see experiences or I have people at a closing that talk about certain things I want to share that information with you guys because there's so many things to know about owning a piece of property or a home and I always like to share and give you good information so if you're um, in a area where your property taxes are due right now if you pay your property taxes twice a year in Maryland or Virginia, you need to be looking out for it and pay attention to it. July and December, July and January um, for Virginia. So be looking at that and make sure that you know that your property taxes are paid or scheduled to be paid or on time. The other little piece I'm going to tell you real quick about if your lender pays them is mortgage lenders have are you know huge organizations that have lots of loans out there and they have lots of people that they have. Um, property taxes that they need to get paid for and the other thing is the lenders wait until the last day probably to make those payments because they have an electronic system where they can send those payments directly to those uh, taxing jurisdictions all in one big block so with that said if you call the county and try to check up on your property taxes they're probably not going to be paid until the last day and the county's probably not going to be able to tell you towards that end of that taxing period due date um, until a little bit after because they get so many at one time and so they get a little bombarded and they've got to process all that information so if you're in a situation right now where your property taxes are twice a year in Maryland and you have from December 1st till December 31st to pay them they in the lender is paying them through your mortgage escrow you're probably not going to be able to find out until probably the second week in January because the uh, taxing office obviously gets a little overwhelmed but so there's a little bit of information for you. If you don't have a mortgage or you don't have escrows in your mortgage, uh, you need to be making sure that you have your property taxes taken care of and paid because they can take that home away from you. They can sell your house at tax sale for just what you owe for taxes. So um, a little scary, but you know, proactive. Always make sure those things are all taken care of. Hopefully that helped you guys a little bit this morning with some information that I see and have things coming up. Again, please, a couple of things. Please make sure that you check in. Again, I can't see you, but I love knowing who's on so I can give you good information. Good morning, Julia. How are you? I haven't had you on before when we've been on, so I appreciate your time. Uh, Tuesday and Thursdays, I try to do Tuesday and Thursdays between 8 and 8.30. If you click the follow button on the bottom, Facebook will notify you when we're going live. So that'll help you make sure you don't miss any episodes if you find the information valuable. Please also click the share button because sharing is caring. You uh, obviously felt this information was valuable. There's a lot of people in your circle that I don't know. And uh, if you share with them, they probably will find this information valuable as well. You may know somebody who's buying or selling or may just have some questions and we're certainly thrilled and really want to be able to help answer those questions for those people so feel free to reach out to me personally through Facebook through our website there's all kinds of resources on our website too that you can check out on the resources page I'd love to help you with anything that you have questions about with respect to real estate uh, if I can't answer it I know a lot of really good professionals that do and can and I love to be able to help you with information. So hopefully you guys have an awesome rest of the day. I'll check back in with you on Thursday. If you think up something that you think we should talk about, feel free to share either in this chain or message me individually. I'd love to help you with questions that you have as well. So I am just one. Uh, Sherry. Oh, thank you, Sherry, for uh, sharing the video. I'm trying to read the bottom real quick. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. You guys have an awesome Tuesday. I'll talk to you on Thursday. Uh, Thursday morning coffee with Connie. I'm Connie Fuchsa with Foot Title Group where we protect your home ownership. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.